Welcome to the Dress Up Mom. Hello and welcome back. I am crazy for kimonos. They are by far my most favorite garment to wear. And over the years, I have quite a collection of them. I absolutely adore them. Today, I thought I would introduce you to my collection and show you how I wear and style my kimonos a bunch of different ways. But first, thank you so much for tuning in. I really appreciate it. If you are a regular viewer and subscriber, I love you. Thank you. It means the world to me. If you haven't subscribed and you like what you're seeing, please do. It's the button. Click it. It means everything to me. We are also on all the social media outlets, Instagram, Facebook, Twitter, at The Dress Up Mom, hashtag The Dress Up Mom, where I post outfits throughout the week. So as I said, kimonos are my favorite garment to wear. I think they're somewhat magical. I don't know. I just feel different and invincible when I put a kimono on. It's the weirdest thing. I have long kimonos, short kimonos, in between kimonos, old vintage ones, newer ones that are a little bit more modernized, and I just love every single one of them. I like to wear my kimonos around the house as lounge wear, which is how a lot of people wear them, but I love to take my kimonos out to play. So I incorporate them into my wardrobe in a bunch of different ways. If I'm wearing them casually, I might throw one over a pair of jeans. I've also used them as almost like a coat for some of my dresses and other things. And then if I have an opportunity to get somewhere where I get to dress up a little, I love to wear them that way and sort of glam them up. I find them to be extremely versatile. One of the super fun things about kimonos are these sleeves. I think maybe that's why I feel sort of like a Wonder Woman or superhero in these sleeves. They just make you feel magical. So I've been fortunate enough to find some great vintage kimonos in my resale shops, even at some thrift shops. And sometimes I have to get them a little bit fixed up, but I love those. They're beautiful and original and they're really great. But there's also in San Diego, a wonderful boutique, Chateau Village, that carries a line of kimonos by a local designer here, Jennifer Grace, and they are just gorgeous. All different fabrics and colors and sizes and shapes and they're fantastic. This shop is great if you're in San Diego, stop by. I even have a video, I'll put a link to that, where I went and we showed a bunch of different ways to tie these newer kimonos. It's great, you can wear them hundreds of ways, literally. So I have quite a few new ones that I've bought there as well. So I think now it's best for me to just show you my kimonos. I'll introduce them to you and tell you a little bit about where I found them, and I will show you how I've been wearing and styling them. This is my newest but oldest kimono. It's actually vintage, quite old, this beautiful silk, and I got it at the hospice resale. All the proceeds benefit hospice care, and I picked it up for like $20. It was amazing. I had to have it done a little bit. There were some holes and stuff, but I absolutely love it, and it's my newest one, my longest one, and I think it's a little bit dramatic and lovely. This is the kimono that started my recent kimono craze. It's a Jennifer Grace original, and I'm here at Chateau Village. That's Jennifer on the left, and there's Valerie, the owner of the shop here, on the right of me. And the place is just loaded with incredible kimonos, new ones, and you can see me having a lot of fun with mine. <laughs> This is my second Jennifer Grace original kimono, and I have a lot of fun wearing this one in a kind of a 20s style. You can see how I have it over a casual pair of jeans and a pair of clogs, and I've tied it at the waist a little bit lower, and then even 
put the tie around my head and I feel like it has a little 20s vibe but it's still kind of a fun either more casual or going out look. This is a vintage kimono that I picked up at one of my favorite resale places in San Francisco called Relove. Now this is reversible. It's just amazing. I love the colors of it. It was in a fantastic shape. Look at that. Look at the back of it. And I like to wear this one very casually with jeans and just a little tank, but I can also dress it up if I need to. But I absolutely do love this one from Relove. This is my second one from Relove, and it is a little bit shorter, so I wear it more like a jacket, and I can make this one very casual or dressy, and look at the back of this. I love the gold and the silver, and the inside of it has this great lining. That's a lot of fun, but this one I enjoy a lot, and I got resale. I think it might be old. Again, Relove in San Francisco. I'll put their information in the description. Here is the final kimono that I will show you today. I bought this one also at the hospice resale shop in Encinitas. It is old and vintage and a beautiful silk, but it's a different shape and style than any of the other ones that I've gotten. And I love it because you can wear it by itself as a dress, or I can put it over jeans and a top like I have here, make it a little bit more casual. I'll also show you the way that I belt it and have a lot of fun with this. This one I think is very versatile and I got it for such a great price. Well, that does it for this time my friends. I hope you enjoyed these kimonos and seeing them. I would love to know if you love wearing kimonos and how you wear them or if possibly this video gave you some ideas and inspired you to go out and get one. I would love to know that. Thank you so much for watching. I really appreciate it. Until next time, have fun and dress it up a little.